Look what I bought. The new Dyson tool. This is the Dyson Airwrap Volume and Shape. There are, I think, three renditions of this new tool by Dyson. Um, so this is specifically the volume and shape one. It's heavy, it's expensive. I bought it with my own money and I'm gonna try it for almost the first time with you here on camera. I did, I was so excited to get it. I got it when my mom was here a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm like, I just, I just can't wait. I have to see. So my hair was totally dry and had been flat ironed and I used the curling tool and uh, it curled my hair right up and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do any more. I have to do all of it on camera. So let me get it out of the package here. So it comes in this beautiful package as it should for how much it costs. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out of the package here. I'm not making this like a full on unboxing. I wanna demonstrate this tool and show you what I think of it. A little backstory while I'm taking this out. Um, I did not like the original Dyson blow dryer. I felt like it made my hair look and feel really dry. It worked very fast. Um, but I just, I don't know. It just wasn't a win for me. So this tool, here's the base of it. And then it has all these attachments. Um, it does have like just a standard blow dryer and then two brush attachments here. Um, this one has a little, there we go. And then two curling wands essentially. So here they are. So oh, let's get started. I can't wait any longer. I'll start by putting my pretty typical hair products in. Um, this is the stuff I use almost every day. I do use different products from time to time, but these have been long time loves. I don't wanna try anything new today. I wanna to use products that I know always work for me so I'm not making a decision about whether or not the blow dryer is good um, as a result of maybe a new product or something. A quash uplifting foam goes in at my root area for some volume. And then a little bit of Moroccan oil on my ends. My hair is quite dry. And now that it's winter, it's even more dry. So I just rub this through my hands and pull this on my ends. I don't put any of this on my root area. Just put it like mid shaft to ends to give my hair a little bit of moisture. This makes my hair really smooth and silky without adding any kind of weight or heaviness to it. I'm going to start by using just the standard blow dryer attachment to get my hair to like 80% dry. Then I'll use a combination of these brushes. I'm gonna start by doing just a smooth blowout and see what I get from that. And then I'll use one of the curling ones. I've never held a tool like this before. Um, there are three temperature settings, three speed settings, and then um, a cool button as well. So I'm gonna get my hair to about 80% dry, like I said. I don't know which side it comes out of. So when I've watched other YouTube demos or trials of this new tool, I'm not seeing much sectioning going on. And if you're trying to blow dry your hair, whether you're using this tool or any kind of blow dryer with a brush, you have to section your hair or it's just gonna be a disaster. It, the blow dryer is gonna blow other parts of your hair and if you don't section it cleanly, it's just gonna be a big headache. So I'm dividing my hair into three sections. That top section was about at my temple and then I'm clipping this one up and I'll start with this bottom section here. I think we're locked and loaded, yep. All right, so I'm just gonna brush through and <laughs> try it right here with you guys. Okay, this bottom section is dried. Went pretty smoothly. I'm gonna let down that next section. I will use uh, the same attachment here for this section and then I'll switch over to that round brush to see what that does.
All right, first impressions are dried quickly, was able to get a nice lift because I was brushing from the bottom up. You could certainly just brush it dry like this if you wanted to, um, but I wanted a little lift at my root because if you know me at all, I like a lot of volume in my hair. Um, I feel like it's a little fuller over here than over here. It could just be the way I was holding the brush, but I'm going to now take off the paddle brush and put on the round brush and then I'll finish the top section of my hair with that round brush just to see the difference. All right, I think we're dry. Hey, I think we're dry. Yeah, the volume, out of control. <laughs> That's good volume. Yes, I used a root lifter, but um, whoa. Wow, I haven't had these kind of <laughs> results from a blow dryer with that same root lifter mm, ever. Uh, they were right about the volume part of this dryer. Um, I wish my ends looked a little bit more finished with this tool. Um, I will say damaged hair, which mine is, uh, doesn't really respond well to heat anyway and you kind of need a flat iron or the right products to really smooth it out. So it's not bad, I just wish it looked a little bit more finished on the ends. But in general, uh, that was really easy to use. Here's what the back looks like. I haven't even seen this. Um, it feels good. It dried quickly. And the volume is crazy. Now that we've seen how to smooth it with those two other tools, let's, um, let's curl it and see what happens there. So there are two curling tools, one with the arrows going that way, one with the arrows going this way. Um, I have the arrows pointing to my right here because I think that means it'll curl away from my face, but let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of my hair down and if it blows around um, this section back here that I'm not curling, I'll go ahead and put a clip in it, but let's see what it does without. So again, the concept here is the hair is supposed to wrap itself onto the barrel um, by using the air. So let's test it. Oh. It did it! Ooh. Well that's bouncy! Oh 
Okay, let's try that again. Maybe too big of a section. Yeah. Okay, so this is so fun. Um, I was right that this curl direction is away from my face, and now that I'm here, I need to pop on that other side, or that other one, so I can make this curl that's right next to my face go away. I never like my hair curled toward my face, so I've just switched the barrel here, but it's still the same size as the other barrel. So it's very bouncy. Um, I'm getting a lot of curls at my ends. Part of that may be because I smoothed it out already with some of those paddle brushes. Um, but part of it also is it's, it's wrapping the hair starting at the ends. So I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of hold my ends off of this section because I don't like it too curled up at my ends to give me a curl that I'm used to having on my hair, if that makes any sense. Okay, switching back to the other direction and let's uh let's wrap this up shall we All right, so it's all been curled with the air wrap curling barrel. Um, the volume and fullness and bounce is undeniably great. So great and easy to achieve this. I love this section here. In general, this isn't typically how I like my hair styled when it's curled. Um, it's very curled at the ends here and smooth through here. That may be because I smoothed through it with those uh, first brushes, but I also know because I've just used this, it's gonna wrap up around your ends first and then you can pull it closer to your root. It is difficult to get the wrap around the root first and leave your ends out. Plus this thing gets pretty warm so you don't wanna put your fingers too close to it. I haven't put any styling products or anything in it. This is just what I am left with. Uh, my final thoughts are really cool tool. I don't know if it's something I'm going to be using every day. I did like those smoothing brushes. I think my favorite brush was this one because I got this really smooth finish. Um, I like the curl, but I don't like it so curled around my ends. So if you're thinking you can get these loose beachy waves from this tool, uh, you may not be able to do that. You might <laughs> with a little bit more practice, but um, it, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, and at that point I would say it might just be easier to use a curling iron or a curling wand. Um, but the blow dry aspect of this tool is really cool, so if you're used to using a blow dry brush, I know other brands have made them before, or if you're used to blow drying and holding a round brush, 
this does it in one step for you and the air that comes out of this tool is certainly fast and effective um, so I, I'm more happy with the result from using this one than that original Dyson that I got I don't know why um, it could be because the brush was attached to it but I'm overall feeling like my hair looks smooth and not too dry so I'll definitely play around with it a little bit more and um, maybe just get a bit more practice and perhaps do another tutorial if I like it. If I don't like it, you probably won't see another tutorial from me and I'll return it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and kind of first impressions. If you want to see other blow dryer uh, related videos, I do have a blow dryer comparison and a curling iron comparison video that you may find interesting to watch. I will link both of them right below this video on YouTube and in the blog post. As always, I would love it if you followed on Instagram. I'm k8 underscore small things. Also hit the subscribe button um, to always be notified when I'm putting up new videos here on YouTube.